Welcome back to Twin Cities Live. A cancer diagnosis often means chemotherapy, and with that can come extreme fatigue, loss of appetite, and something not often mentioned, maybe you've not, never even heard of it. It's called chemo brain. So this can be anything from becoming unusually disorganized to having trouble finding the right words or taking a little longer than usual to do everyday things. But in today's Be Well with TCL, reporter Kelly Hansen introduces us to a Burnsville attorney who says chemo brain really got the best of her. That is until the Learning RX program helped her IQ to jump 17 points. Seven years ago, at the age of 38, Elizabeth Porter was diagnosed with stage 4 lymphoma. started chemotherapy in November of 2011. I had to complete 12 rounds of chemotherapy over the course of six months. And that was completed on Friday, April 13th, 2012. Those are dates Elizabeth says she'll never forget, but the chemo did make a lot of things foggy. What ultimately led me to seek out Learning RX was an argument at home that I was having with my husband. We all have them over recycling. I was pointing to a stack of boxes that were lined up to be taken down to the recycling room and calling them plants. And that was devastating. Elizabeth is an attorney and didn't want what she calls chemo brain to affect her work. I, I call it my mental file cabinet. Uh, if I can't think of the word I want to use, I never had trouble opening that file cabinet and selecting another word. As time went on after the chemotherapy treatment, I was having trouble opening the file cabinet. Words weren't coming to me, so then I was having to rephrase things. I always use notes, so I had that as a backup, but it wasn't comfortable. So for three months, she worked with a trainer, three days a week, an hour and a half each session. We've done a lot of stories on children that yes. have done the program. Did you think it would work for an adult? I wasn't sure. I, I'd heard about Ben Utek and his experience with learning RX post concussion. And so I was intrigued. Three, 13. We brought you Ben's story in 2015. He took a career ending hit that led to his fifth concussion. And after years of suffering, those brain injuries led him here to learning RX. When they're working with adults, it's oriented towards adults. You're not going to be doing the same exercises the children are doing. They're more adult oriented. You are operating in the same room with the kids, but they're motivating. They're, they're doing a great job and they're focused and they're staying with it for the time they're there. You know as an adult you need to set a good example and you just do it. It's been more than three years since Elizabeth graduated from the Learning RX program and the gains she made then have stuck around. I feel it at work when I sit down to draft an extensive memorandum or an affidavit. The organization of that product is much easier than it was prior to taking Learning RX. And I've never gone back to kind of feeling overwhelmed with organizing things or words do escape me periodically, but it's not a difficult retrieval. I can always get another word in place of the word I've forgotten. I have reaped the benefits over and over and over again. And I, if, I, if one adult hears me say this and gets the help because I said it out loud, then I've done my job. Well, we are Gosh. so happy to tell you that Elizabeth has been in remission for seven years and is doing well. This is incredible. Learning RX Executive Director Rich Frieder is here to tell us a little bit more about this. It's so amazing to hear Elizabeth's story. And then, of course, we've had Ben here several times to talk about the impact of these brain injuries. So how is the program helping your brain heal and recover and be able to work in the way that it was able to prior to the injury? Yeah, so the reason it works is what we're doing are really intense mental exercises exercises that are targeting the weaknesses and you kind of heard that with Elizabeth everything we do is one-on-one -on -one, so it's customized to the weaknesses someone has the goals they have their age and so and actually we're changing the way the brain's working we were actually published several months ago in the Journal of Neuroimaging that shows we change what's called the functional connectivity of the brain which means the brain is, is working much more efficiently you can retain in, um, information better process faster so whether it's things like chemo brain is a type of traumatic brain injury or benutech with concussions mm -hmm. individuals with strokes um, car accidents um, children at birth who have had brain injuries veterans who have had combat related we've actually had research published in our ability to help individuals in those scenarios that's incredible yeah. it's really wild too uh, the, the, it seems that when you do this and I've done just a little bit of the testing here live on the show it forces your brain this sort of training forces your brain to it's almost like doing an advanced aerobics class or a group yeah. fitness class where you really have to learn what's going on and pay attention it seems that it's it's this in 
intentional effort to get your brain doing things that normally it just doesn't seem to do. Yeah, and basically what, yeah, it's the, it's like uh, working out is a great analogy because what's happening is, you know, if you go to the gym and you're doing exercises, you're strengthening your muscles to get bigger over time, at least from what I hear, right? <laughs> and so that actually is what's happening when you're training your brain. The biggest difference, besides the obvious though, right. is that the gains we achieve are long lasting. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Elizabeth trained several years ago, Ben Utech has trained several years ago. They haven't lost the ability. So it's not like you're just coming back over and over again. Um, because once you improve the skill, as long as there's not another injury, the gains stay with that individual in, you know, for a long period of time. Okay, what happens though if someone has sustained a brain injury? How long after the injury should it be right away that they should come in and see you? When should they reach out and try to get some help? Yeah, great question. So I would say like, if it's immediately after, we're not the right place to go first because an individual needs to go through some healing, some physical healing. There's typically kind of a rehab process that happens. Okay. That can be anywhere from a month to even 12 months depending on how like if it's a serious car accident but here's where we really help and I hope people hear this is that um, there's a there's kind of this belief that after your 12 to 18 months after the event whatever that event is stroke car accident this is now the best you can be like all the healing has happened and your cognitive ability if it's decreased that's now your new normal and you need to learn to cope and, and that's where no. we come in yeah. and because our experience with individuals is that's not true because we're strengthening skills so ben utek we worked with him six years after his last concussion mm -hmm. right so there are so many people walking around right now with the impact of traumatic brain injuries that don't think they can get help. Hey, you guys give them hope, Rich. Absolutely. That's what's important. That's incredible. Well, yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. And Appreciate thanks to that. Elizabeth for sharing that yeah, story. Yeah. So inspiring. So Learning RX is offering TCL viewers a deal. You can call and mention Twin Cities Live to get that initial assessment for $75. It's regularly priced at $199. We've also posted more information about the program on our website. That is TwinCitiesLive.com. A big thanks to Learning RX for sponsoring Twin Cities Live.